Have you ever not known what you wanted to do with your life? I know I have, and I think this is something that most people deal with at some point in their life. And I would say almost every human being deals with it at some point in their life. And I emphasize the word human because I don't think this is something any other creature ever deals with. Humans are the only ones that are trying to figure their lives out, as I often hear so many people say. All, the, all other creatures know instinctively from the time they're born exactly what to do. We're the only ones that seem to have a problem, and all other animals are also a lot better at living in the present moment when we are. They don't seem to worry as much as humans do. So I've come up with a strategy that's helped guide me, and this is why I say that death is a life coach. I ask myself a question. If I only had a year left to live, what would I do? And suddenly things become clear. I know death is still a taboo topic in American culture, and I think one of the reasons is a lot of well, we don't know what happens when we die. Do we go to heaven or do we go to hell? Or do we reincarnate or do we enter some kind of state of nothingness because we no longer have a brain with which we can perceive with? But the one thing we do know is that death is certain. And so this is something that I remind myself of on a regular basis. And it's one of the reasons I get a lot of benefit from going to funerals and certainly I never want to see anyone die but every time I've attended a funeral I come away with a, a type of gratitude that I'm just really grateful that that I'm alive and no matter what happens I'm I'm better off than someone who's dead and this is especially true for me if I hear about someone my own age or perhaps even younger who has passed away it's it's like it's almost kind of like when I hear about someone, you know, I'm 33 years old now, and if I hear someone in their in their 20s that died, or God forbid, a child, or just a young person that died, it's almost feel I feels like I got a second chance, because then it doesn't really matter what I do at this point. It just gives me a lot more freedom, and oftentimes I'll put pressure on myself, feeling like I need to accomplish certain things or achieve a certain amount of social status by a certain age, but then. When I start thinking about death, it's like it all just goes away and I don't feel like I'm under so much pressure anymore. I had a really interesting experience when I was in Bali earlier this year. I was in Ubud and I was walking around the downtown area and I saw this flyer for death meditation. I was like, wow, that's really, really intriguing. I don't, I've never heard of a death meditation before and so... I decided to go to it to find out what it was and we were in this beautiful temple and it was the meditation was led by this Indian gentleman named Maitreya and essentially the purpose of this meditation was to break my psychological attachment to people and things and the idea is that when you do this you can live in a greater state of freedom and peace in knowing that all things are transitory. So he had everyone laying down and we had our eyes closed and we imagined that we were floating down a river and this river symbolized our life and that each day we're moving into the future and moving closer and closer to the inevitability of our death. He then had us imagine that we had died and we were at our own funeral and all my friends and family were in attendance and my body was laying on a funeral pyre. The pyre was then set on fire and I imagined my flesh and my bones slowly burning. So eventually there was nothing left but ashes. Pretty soon a rain came, a storm came and it started to rain and the rain washed away what was left of my ashes. So eventually I was completely gone. The sun had started to go down and my friends and family that were there had all left and life continued on without me. And contrary to what you might think, I didn't think this was a scary process at all. It was actually 
really peaceful and and it really did give me a greater sense of freedom in knowing that my time here on earth is limited so why would i waste it on doing anything that doesn't interest me all of a sudden all the 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 the, the superficialities that permeate my life just fell away and it was like wow i can do what i actually enjoy right now and it's not to say that my actions don't have consequences of course they they do and i'm not adv advocating being passive about your life if you have something that you want to pursue do it but keep in mind that just nothing is going to last and eventually everyone you've ever met all your possessions everything you're never going to see any of those people or see any of those things ever again you can't take anything with you I think contemplating death is especially important when you think about your relationships with people as well. How many times in your life have you ever wanted to say I love you to to someone but you hesitated because you were afraid? I've done this multiple times and I, I really regret doing it. Not saying I love you to someone, it's one of the most powerful things you can ever say to someone. So, so next time, next time you hesitate or you have something important you want to say, like, I love you. Ask yourself, well, if I were to die tomorrow, would I still hesitate? And this can pertain to anything in your life that is important. It could be taking a trip somewhere, or maybe it's pursuing a dream, or quitting your job, or asking someone on a date. It, it really doesn't matter what it is, but if you ask yourself that, you know, what if, what if this is my last shot? Am I still going to hesitate? No, I'm not. So I think the more and more you think about death, the more it can help you be more fully alive and live in the present moment. I'm going to end with one of my favorite quotes from Saint Frank Sinatra. He said, live every day like it's your last, because one day you will be right. Thanks for watching.